Greetings everyone. Welcome back to Zile Tales. Today we are diving into the darker pages of history as we explore the lives and crimes of Kenya's most infamous criminals. Join us on this journey to uncover the stories behind these notorious figures that have left an indelible mark on the nation. Edward Maina Shimoli, aka The Jackal. He got his nickname Carlos the Jackal after the Venezuelan terrorist who escaped from the police on multiple occasions. He was one of the most slippery criminals in Kenya's history, managing to slip away from law enforcement for more than a decade. During his stint, he had managed to escape jail four times by bribing and tricking wardens with one of his most ingenious escapes staged at the Kamiti Maximum Security Prison. He confessed to 14 murders, 88 rapes, plus a string of bank robberies and drug deals in a decade-long crime spree and was famed for staging a shootout at Uhuru Park in Nairobi with police officers where he shot and wounded five in the gun attack. His crime run came to an end in 2007 when he was finally shot dead along Kagundo Road. John Batista Kiriamiti John Kiriamiti is a former bank robber turned renowned writer who, in the prime of his life in the 1960s and 1970s, caused law enforcers sleepless nights following his ruthless reign on the streets of Nairobi. Kiriamiti, who had an admirable start in life attending the Nairobi school formerly known as the Prince of Wales, dropped out in Form 1 and turned to crime. This saw him cause chaos and instill fear in Kenyans with his gun trotting ways and robbery with violence incidences as he managed to slip from the grip of law enforcement countless times until the eve of his his wedding in 1970 when the police pounced on him and arrested him. He was convicted to serve 20 years in prison and began writing his famous novel My Life in Crime and its sequel My Life with the Criminal, Millie's Story, which were a hit among the Kenyan youth in the 1980s and 90s. He was released 13 years later for portraying good conduct. However, he was jailed again in 1986 after being accused of being part of the masterminds of the 1982 coup to dethrone President Daniel Arap Moy. Gerald Wambogu Munyaria aka Wanogo. Wanogo started criminal activities in the late 1980s and was part of a gang that terrorized Kenyans comprising him, Anthony Ngugi Kanagi alias Washosho and Bernard Matheri alias Rasta until the 90s. Their names were deceptive and misleading such as Washosho which literally means of the grandma and Wanogo which directly translates to of the monkey. Rasta's name was derived from his mean look that was understood by his dreadlocks. Wanogo was a famous bank robber managing to outrun the elite flying squad police unit plenty of times by bribing police for information. This was until 1996 when his illustrious career came to a dramatic halt in Nakuru when both he and his girlfriend were sprayed with bullets when they were spotted running errands together. Wanogo reportedly tried to use his girlfriend as a human shield hoping for a negotiation. Anthony Ngugi Kanagi alias Washosho Ashosho was the ringleader of the gang that comprised Wanogo and Rasta and was notorious for committing multiple high-profile murders, armed robberies and bank heists. Before joining the gang, he was a matatu driver with exceptional driving skills which was an advantage in his stint as the leader of the gang as he was able to outrun the police during car chases. In 1996, he was gunned down in Rongai Kajiado by the Daniel Sorine-led Alfa Romeo squad from the CID, now the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. Bernard Matheri, aka Rasta. Of these three gangsters, Rasta was the most ruthless and it took a year for Alfa Romeo squad to track and gun him down. He was known to remove nails from his victims in his rural Kiriaini, Moranga County. Rasta was a sadistic murderer and could empty a whole magazine on officers who accosted him. He once attacked GSU officers with a grenade at their headquarters in retaliation for the death of his henchmen who were killed at the GSU roundabout in 1996. Rasta was killed in 1997. Peter Moya Wakinyonga, alias Wakinyonga. Wakinyonga reigned supreme as the most wanted gangsters of the 1970s and is known as the godfather in history of Kenyan crime as he left an indelible mark on the many criminals that came after him. He was a cold-blooded killer whose bounty had been set at 100,000 Kenya shillings, which was quite a lump sum amount in the 70s. He was killed in 1978 after a dramatic gunfight by police officer Patrick Shaw in Nairobi South Sea Estate while celebrating at Nyakiambi Lodge and Nightclub, the spot where Cooperative Bank now stands in Kangemi. Simon Maveri Ikere Matheri's reign as the most wanted criminal in the 2000s had long frustrated the police as he was a ruthless assassin who was reported to receive 500 million Kenya shillings per kill. 
father, he committed a series of robberies and high-profile murders such as the killing of a top AIDS researcher and the wife of US embassy official. He managed to go into hiding for a year, terrorizing Nairobians, and a bounty of 150 Kenya shillings was announced. His short stint came to an end in 2007 when his phone was tracked to Adi River and his house had been surrounded by 100 policemen when he was finally killed. His wife had tried to persuade him to surrender to no avail and when he finally came out, he together with his accomplice was sprayed with many bullets by the police. And there you have it, the stories of Kenya's most infamous criminals. These individuals, for better or worse, have left a lasting impact on the nation's history. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe for more content. Let us know in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like us to explore. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.